Hi. Um, I would like to say that that racist fan or fans at Morecambe scheme against Bolton today are a disgrace to society, no matter about sport. And, like, basically, I think personally they should be named and shamed publicly. And so they can be banned from any sporting event. Pubs can have a choice to ban them. Or not pubs or whatever. But they look like a fossil, racist fossil. So I'd say basically, if they ever go to a pub, that pub should ban them. And Supermarket should have a choice if they let men in or not. And, and so on. But I think it should be banned from every sporting um, stadium or arena nationwide. Um, and I think that unfortunately the club might have to take the consequences and play three games behind closed doors or deducted nine points or find 200,000 or something which will really pinch them hard because unfortunately majority of fans will have to pay the consequences of the minority or one or two but the one or two should not be, be able to sit step foot into a football stadium because when you've got top bloggers like Fogden and so on you do an incredible job at documenting Bolton games it really helps um, because that's what we need we need people going to football matches and for that in kind of incident to happen to document it I last weekend it was MK Dons and we like Wimbledon are the big side out of two Wimbledon's got history Wimbledon when MK Dons even when Milton before Milton Keynes was built Wimbledon had a team who done well in leagues and tournaments and that's when MK Dons was still just fields and the Shittery now in League One but yeah um, basically then some official got um, un we unnecessary disgracefully got hurt at a game in League One last season and last season last weekend and look that's going way too far officials like anyone should go to a football match and feel safe and come back safely mm -hmm. and firstly and mostly no football player no member of staff no fan should go to a game and think they'll get racism at the game or turn on the social media after the game and find racist abuse. No one should. People who do that are people who should be named and shamed publicly. People who do that need to be taught that they need a life. They need, like, basically, to know that the consequences of being racist should be severe I mean football clubs um, local authorities and football clubs um, should and fans should let them know report them um, because the kids go to grounds you don't no parent wants a kid to hear f someone being racist to a player or a fan. That's no experience that anyone should, especially yet young, should experience. 
So maybe the fan was getting a bit too heated there with that massive beard and what boy needs it gone. But I don't care. I just think that there's got to be in football a way to catch these people and you would find these people online who are being racist in the form and the authorities to go and find who they are, report them to the club that they go to and ban and get them banned because that's what the authorities are there for and clubs need help from the authorities or by members of the public. So thanks for watching anyway. And Bob did appreciate that blog. Um, it's such a shame. Um, when you watch some like African Cup of Nations and all these international tournaments, you you appreciate people, you appreciate countries, you, you appreciate what the world's to offer. And then you hear about some idiots being racist in your own country. And you're thinking, did they go to school? Did they go to college? Did they have any decent upbringing? Clearly, that those questions had to be asked for them to be so stupid. Because I know people from all con not all countries, but from all continents, and what every culture, continent has got to offer to the world is incredible. And what racists have to um, offer is ignorance, ignorance and vile ways and shame and disgrace of society, I guess. All right, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I might do another later, if not, maybe tonight, but definitely tomorrow. Again, thanks for watching.